Howdy folks, my name is Jeroen, it's a Dutch name, I guess you will have quite a lot of difficulty pronouncing it, well my name doesn't really matter. In this video I am going to show you uh, the project I'm currently working on, the comedy RPG game 63 Fires of Lang. Well, as you can see, the game is entirely written in Lua. What you see here is just a small portion of the Lua code that I have been typing for your entertainment. Um, in order to make stuff really reusable on many fonts, I have created a real builder that packs everything together and I will run that builder in combination with actually running it. This builder is just a small tool that I named after this game's protagonist, Rihanna. It is a small tool written in the Go programming language that packs everything together in one big work file and will in the end package it for the love game engine which will in the end run it For this little demonstration, I will just start a new game and set it in the English language. Um, this is the game's difficulty. Unlike many other RPG games, you can only set this in the beginning. The reason for that is um, there is more that changes in the game than just enemies being stronger or weaker. Um, the cap of the number of items will be more or less money you can earn in battle um, and lots of other things can make the game harder or easier depending on your chosen difficulty on this demonstration I will just go for the casual well these are the networks that can register your achievements in game need to demonstrate that now it hasn't been fully scripted out anyway at least not yet Yeah, well, this is of course the opening of the story. I'm not quite sure if the narrator's voice, who is actually voiced by me, uh, really came through. As you can see, Rihanna is totally not friendly at all. I hope you like the scenario font, as it took me two days to uh, create that font it 
what's wrong with the event saying something or someone, whatever it may be, it woke me from my eternal rest, but the last thing I wanted to hear when such another thing happens is to hear your babbling metal, melodramatic bullshit. That exclamation mark you see in the header when the narrator speaks is actually a bug. Of course, I will fix that in the final version of the game. Yeah, like I mentioned in the game description, the fourth wall is not holy. Rihanna knows that she is just the heroine of a computer game, and she actually hates it. finally begins. Um, I guess the setup is most of all explaining itself. The time is just the time you've been playing the game. There is no maximum time or anything. So you can basically play this game forever if you want. Excuse me. Well, Rihanna is right now the only playable character. Top bar is of course her hit points. AP can be seen as the kind of magic points, the A stands for ability, and the bottom bar is vitality. At the end of each battle, the vitality is used to recover lost HP. However, when your vitality runs out, that won't happen until you rest again. The entire game is, like Rihanna mentioned herself, mouse controlled. It's just a matter of clicking and Rihanna will walk to it. Like she mentioned herself, she can walk around things. This because the Dextra searching routine has been used. This green flashing light, and she may already have expected it, the safe spot. Well, let's just save the game here. And this is, of course, the status screen. It still needs a little workout. Uh, inventory. Well, the ability page is right now empty. That is because that part is not yet scripted. And the question mark is for help. And if you hover over icons, the game will explain it. If you click the question mark again, the feature is turned off. When you want to activate something, for example this grave, just click on it, Rihanna to walk to it and in this case read what is inscripted on that grave. His last words were, I know I'll burn in hell soon. Yeah, why that is inscripted on that grave might be a little bit clearer if you know more about the story, but not going to give that much spoilers out. Well, let's just click here. And Rihanna can find the way all by herself. Of course, since this is the opening dungeon, not really something spectacular should be expected. Ah, a treasure chest. I wonder what's in there. Probably just junk anyway. What kind of fool leaves those chests behind in the middle of a forest like this anyway? 
Yeah, this game is a pawn to many gaming cliches, as I always wondered who leaves chests behind in the middle of a forest or a dungeon or whatever you can find in a game. And as with anything, just click the chest and Rihanna will take its contents. And of course here is one of the differences between the difficulty modes. There is a cap of 25 copies of each item. Which is 50 in the easy mode and only 5 in the hard mode. Well, let's open a treasure chest. An antidote. Handy for when Rihanna gets herself poisoned. And this is 3 octaves. Octaves are a kind of money. However, this is a bit based on illogical money systems. 8 octals is 1 hex deck, 16 hex deck is 1 byte, and that is basically how the system works. seen that with any room I progress the area number increases. These area numbers are very handy when the walkthrough of this game will come out as those area numbers will be mentioned there. If you would happen to find a bug in the game these area numbers can also sometimes help me to fix that bug more easily if it is specific to the dungeon. Well, let's move on a little bit more. seen him. That fellow doesn't look friendly. I guess he wants to kill me. I have. I guess I have no choice but to fight him. Well, let's do it then. Well, true to the role-playing genre, this game works with a turn-based combat system. As you can see above, this is a card card. Yet only two cards are visible as there are only two characters yet, Rihanna herself and her opponent. On this card bar you can see the order in which they may attack, which is determined by the speed value of the characters. In this case, Rihanna is faster than her opponent, so she may simply move first. Well, the only thing I can demonstrate at the current time is attack, as the other three features have not yet been implemented. Target selection works indiscriminately, meaning that I can of course choose the opponent I want to attack. But Rihanna can also attack herself. The game will warn you, but if I click now, she will just attack herself. Let's just do it cleverly and... Well, normally the enemy would have healed himself now. But as healing is not yet implemented...
Well, 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 look at that, a travel medal. When you have played the fairy tale revamped, then you must already be familiar with the traveler's emblems hidden there. Well, the travel medal is a similar item. However, in this game, it only will increase the level cap. Now is Monster Hunter's time. Well, basically, Rihanna explains it all. And here too, the chosen difficulty will affect things. In the casual mode, the level cap will increase 4 levels with each medal you'll find. In the easy mode, that will be 5 levels. In the hard mode, that will be only 3. Well, when I pick it up... And from now on you can see LV1 at Rihanna's portrait down below, indicating she is of course level 1 since this is the start of the game. You can also see here L cap for, L cap stands for level cap. Well, there are only two locations right now, the Forgotten Graveyard, where we began the game, and of course, Bofor Forest, which is the first actual dungeon. Well, let's open this chest first. Well, these crystals can be your friend when moving around in dungeons as they can recover some points as you go also nice to note is this thing here that indicates that there are random monsters that can attack you out of the blue as you walk through this place when it is blue you won't find any monsters at all when it's green or yellow, you may find monsters, but it is not really sure you will. When it's red, you are bound to find monsters really, really soon. This gouge will decrease at each encounter. When it's empty, no more monsters will bother you. Here, of course, you see a very nice trick. A travel medal. No way to reach it at this point of the game. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course, you can come back for it later, when you have the proper tool to do this. Well, as you can see, I lost a lot of hit points during this fight, and the vitality bar was used to fill it up. And here is the first tool you can acquire in the game. A fishing rod. And, of course, you can use this pond over here to try to catch some fish. You may benefit from those fishes. However, as the fishing game is not yet completely finished, I cannot demonstrate that part. What I can show is that the fishing rod is now added to this sidebar menu. Clicking it will cause Rihanna to, fi uh, to fish. Now these crystals can now 
we properly demonstrated now that I lost some vitality. Those Ambo ones will recover a vitality point. The blue ones will recover some AP, but Rihanna has n uh, no AP at this point. She will she will be able to get AP once she goes one level up. see that a little blocking bug no, don't worry we'll be fixed in the final cut of the game well another game cliche one of the first enemies are always the slimes and this game was actually meant to look for all the cliches As you have seen, Rihanna will get experience points instantly during battle and as soon as she has gained enough points she will level up instantly. Well, and as you can see she has her first ability points. Well this is as far as I can currently demonstrate the game as the rest has not yet been developed. As I said, this is a very early stage of the game. So let's just use the quit feature now. And I hope you have a global idea of what the game will bring you when the final project, the final product, excuse me, will be released. See you later.